Here we will just have a quick look of how easy it is for you to do a bowstring. Um, it's just a quick example. So here we're just going to set up the roof surfaces and we're going to keep it at 26 degrees and we're going to enter a 500 millimeter stub height for this. Click OK. And then we're just going to put in a standard rectangular building. Just the walls for now. And then we're going to put in construction circles and lines to create the bowstring surfaces that you're going to need. So I'm doing a circle, putting in the apex line, then putting in the span, half the span to the left, construction lines, and then I'm using the division tool for your circles to divide that section into three sections, and then I create a profile for the roof surface with the profile tool. So now when you've put in auto profile of your roof surfaces you will see that the software now will use that bowstring type profile that you put in and if you put your truss in it follows that double click to get to your frame view and then in your frame view you can use shift and plus to then modify the webbing to the webbing you like and design the truss. And that's how quick it is.